I'm Abe Stone and this is CoachingReallyWorks.com. It's great to have you here. I came across this adorable little infographic, uh, which I'm going to include in the blog post, so be sure to check it out. And it's about how to keep negative thoughts from letting you down. Now, this is something that's always been very interesting to me because I, I, I meet people all the time who are frustrated that you know some, they have a bad experience or somebody said something or they don't know what to do uh, next. And quite frankly, it happens to me all the time. Uh, Maybe I won't say all the time, but quite regularly, I get overwhelmed. I feel like, you know, oh, maybe I'm not cut out for this, or why did she say that, or am I missing something, or what, you know, should I get involved in this, should I not, uh, oh, wow, how did they get such a wonderful opportunity and I'm missing out. The thoughts, they come in so many different ways, okay? And the point is, those negative thoughts are just a natural part of what happens to us. It's the way the mind works. I think it's some sort of a self-defense mechanism. It's always trying to kind of find its place in the hierarchy of things or something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But the fact is, is we can do something about those negative thoughts. We don't have to yield to them and they don't need to control or guide our lives, okay? We can work with them and in fact, they can move us into good things if we learn how to recognize them and react well to them. So I wanna leave you with seven quick tips on how to keep negative thoughts from getting you down. And you can check out the rest of them over in this infographic on my website. Number one, don't resist it, okay? Don't fight it. Don't try to, uh, you know, stop, 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 stop. No, just say, thank you for sharing. Talk to your mind, talk back to it. Because that's your mind that's very active with those thoughts and it's, it's, it's trying to warn you of something, I don't know, it has some misguided perception of uh, what you need to know and what you need to hear. And just listen to it, say thank you for sharing because when you stop resisting it, it gives up. It stops pu you know, pushing it on you. All right, now tip number two, and this is a really great one, and it's actually a very easy and practical way, and that is change your physiology. Do something as simple as sit up, take deep breaths, stand up really strong and tall if you're in a standing environment. Lift your head up, just a simple change. Smile. I mean, really, these simple changes in our body do a lot to change the way that the, the mind is working because it changes the, 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 the way that the neurons are firing and it can move you from a negative mood to a positive mood very, very quickly. And here's another one, and I mentioned this in a recent blog post about handling difficulties with people, and that is try journaling. Give yourself some time, either uh, if it's in your mornings or you take a break once a day in the middle of the day to kind of hash out the difficult things that you're facing and just write them all out. And you'll find that that'll do a lot to just get them out of the way so they're not bothering you or weighing you down. Okay, now here's tip number four. And I, I think that this one has a lot of merit. And I would recommend that you do it at least once a day. And even try to fit it in when you're facing a situation where you need to clear out of those negative thoughts. And that is meditate. Okay, take time to just be still, clear your mind, relax your body. I have a post on this and you can check it out and learn how to meditate if you're not sure exactly what to do or how it works. Okay, and now here's tip number five. Get busy doing something positive. Go help someone with something else that they need done or find something that you really enjoy doing. Just shift out, shift away from the environment where you sort of started thinking negatively and move over into a new place, a new activity, something that's going to get your mind off of your worries, off of your fears, off of whatever it is that's getting you down. Tip number six, this is a really easy one and I think a lot of us, we just forget about it. Put on some good tunes. Pull out your iPhone, put your headphones in, put some loudspeakers on in the house, dance around the house, listen to music, upbeat music that's gonna get you out of that and get you onto a different uh, thought process and a different mood. I might be repeating myself, but I had this one listed separately on my notes here. And that is, sometimes you just need to get out of the house, get complete, far away from your environment, whatever it is that's got you down. Even if you can only afford a five or 10 minute break, sometimes you need to get out of the office. Just get up, walk out, get some fresh air, maybe get a cup of coffee. Just do something that will completely um, shift your focus. And, and I think this is different than getting involved with other people or helping someone out, which I mentioned earlier. It, it really is something about just moving away from the situation. Sometimes you even just need a day break. You just need to say, look, I need some time off. Uh, I, I need to work with some things. I need to handle some things. And there you go. Uh, seven tips for, uh, to stop negative thinking from getting you down. All right, now here's your quote for today. When the negative thoughts come, and they will, they come to all of us. It's not enough to just not dwell on it. You've got to replace them with a positive thought. That's from Joel Olstein. And here's your affirmation for today. Put it by your bed. Say it in the morning when you get up at least three times. Say it in the evening when you go to bed three times again. I enjoy thinking positively and it just feels natural. 
Hey guys, this is Abe. Did you like this episode? If you did, there are three things you can do right now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe to this channel right here so that I can send you videos on a weekly basis to change your life. Second, you can get my brand new cheat sheet by clicking on the button right here. Third, you can go over to my website and sign up for my newsletter so that I can send you free offers, free programs, free products, new podcasts, and everything else that we don't do on this channel right here. If you'd like to do that, please click on any of these buttons that you see right here. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, go out there and continue to take steps towards your dream as you live a life that really matters.